All set. I can do this. No. I have to. Useful, huh? another shard. Something's up there. Shard. Let's trade it at Doma's shop. Let's change the angle. Launch it.
fight with me. Go get him! Charging to the enemy's position! Good job. My vision is impaired. This fog's making our sensors malfunction. At least you're still operational. Correct. However, battle effectiveness will be reduced as a result. So if we're attacked, get up nice and close. Your logic is sound. <laughs> That's a lot of firepower. Let's take the high ground. Hangar Bay, be aware. All magnetic seals are engaged. Remaining fighters accounted for. Trooper, you're late. It's not my fault. I just returned from patrol. Why did your patrol take so long? Bramlicks. Bramlicks? Local wildlife. Orbs with spikes. Let me get this straight. You were held up by a rolling ball with spikes? Th there was also the fog? I don't have time for this. Report your blaster for inspection. <sighs> Fine.
That's the last of them. Hold it right there. I won't let you through. I saw what you did to the others, Jedi scum. But you won't do it to me. Even your sorcery can't get through 15 centimeters of Imperial manufactured transparency. Structural readouts indicate that we are perfectly secure, sir. Oh, good. In fact, my analysis indicates that it is perfectly impossible for an intruder to have made it this far. What? He's right there! A photoreceptive malfunction, no doubt, sir. You blasted short circuit, you're gonna get us killed! I say, sir, are you in need of maintenance? Just call for reinforcements! You should open the door. I... I should... What? This is an inspection. You have orders to let me pass. This... this is an inspection. I have orders to let you pass. Apologies for detaining you, sir. I'm sure you'll find everything up to code. Let's hope so. <laughs> Weak minds don't stop them from conquering the galaxy. Gotta unlock this. Okay, this is high. Long way down, huh? Hell of a view, though. Shard. Let's trade it at Doma's shop. Oh, what a 
view. You'd have liked it, Shanna. This one. You know a good deal when you see it. See you soon. Ah, you got a keen eye for good product. That right. Yep. But, you know, the product, that's only part of the sale. You're also buying what's behind it. What do you mean? Well, every item has a story. One that carries from owner to owner. The history persists, embedded inside every object. You can find it in a chip cup or a greasy handprint on a towel, even. They all remind you that someone was here once. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Biomaw's no longer a threat. Well done. Can't say I'm surprised. You and Beatty are tough customers. Biomaws like that one you took out are trouble. They'll turn a room into a patio if you're not careful. I believe it. Reminds me of a pest I tangled a few years back. Nothing could get through its skin, neither. Here's the kicker, though. This creature had tentacles, too. Don't remember the name of it, but it was mean. I wasn't having all kinds of trouble until I remembered something my mama used to say. If your weapon can't fell a beast, make the beast your weapon. So, I drop my spear, grab one of the beast's tentacles, and coil it around his throat until it was over. Smart. That's what your enemies do, ain't it? Turn your strengths into liabilities. The Coruscant turned out to be a creative dead end, huh? Exactly. Life's too big to waste on something that isn't working out. You understand? Yeah, I gotcha. So you took off? Mm-hmm. Abandoned my label, my penthouse, the promise of fame, all of it. Where'd you go? Left my agents a note and hopped on the next transport to Kuat. An industrial world. Just like your home world, right? Yep. New and familiar, all at the same time. Cantina's got some great tunes. 
but could always be more. Garden's almost full, buddy. We've expanded into our final plot. But let's chat. I can still assist in other gardening matters. The garden is fully expanded. Well done, Cal. This, of course, comes with benefits. There should now be more than enough goodness in the soil to boost the plant's growth. And if you prefer, you could put plants in stasis at the size of your choosing. Any family back home, Peely? They did not survive the Imperial occupation. I'm so sorry. I appreciate that. My parents and siblings were soft-spoken, but all of them were defiant. Like you. I suppose. Now all I have are my plants. They are defiant in their own way. Vines can rise in the harshest temperatures. Roots penetrate the thickest ferrocrete. That is how we will defeat the Empire. Time, time, time. Is there any plant you can't grow? Hmm. There was a rare subspecies of a Puglia blossom that I found quite stubborn. You still seem frustrated by it. No, of course not. Well, yes. It sticks with me, this one, I suppose. No matter what I did, where I planted it, how I treated the soil, it refused to grow. It was like it was acting out of spite, like a petulant child. Turns out, that subspecies of Puglia Blossom only grows in the wild. It only wanted to grow on its own. That's right. You have the mind of a true botanist. The plants need me. Garden can use some of the new seeds I found. You will make this garden truly great. I think they'll like it there, buddy. Which would look good here? Here looks good. There you go, little seed. growing. Let's pick a color for you. There. 
your new home. That's how it's done. And we're getting quite the green thumb, huh, BD? Keeping on Doma's good side, friend? She ain't a woman you'd want to cross. We wouldn't dream of it. Doma's done a lot for us. And for us as well. Sometimes I think she's all that's holding us together. Yeah, she's something else. Some folk are just like that. They hold things together. Show this to Z. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. I wonder how long this has been here.
Let's show this to Z. for the help. <sighs> well, there it is. About you? Me? <laughs> Not a chance. What are we dealing with? Any sign of a droid? Some kind of service gantry. Could be a way in. It's the best option I can see. Only way to the Lucre Hulk is through this swamp. For you, maybe. You want to ride, BD? <laughs> when you're ready, make a move on that gantry. I'll be watching. Copy that. One way not to get mud on your boots, huh? Now we just need to rescue Z. Hard to believe anything could live in this swamp. I guess our friend here makes it work. See that building, buddy? Guess someone does live here. Or did once. Do you think this is worth? Nothing's worth crossing the Raiders. Now move. Let's check this place out. I'm not leaving you here. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. But we must find my data pad. Can't we just get you a new one? Absolutely not! My entire life is on that datapad. Cal, what are you doing out here? I could ask you the same question, Zig. I came out here to look for Z. Yeah, me too. Ahem, and I am Winnie Eres. Cal, was it? 
We've only just met, but I could use some assistance. What do you need? I was told there's a bird in this swamp that spots a resplendent blue marsh. But when I tried to get a closer look at one, it snatched my data pad and flew away. Where'd it go? They've got a nest at the top of a spire nearby. I'd go, but Winnie here says I gotta stay by her side. Yes! Yes, that spire there. It's so close, yet so far. I'll see what I can do. You shine like the stars. Oh, <laughs> that's a Coruscant saying. Perhaps a more simple. Thank you, Cal. Good luck finding that data pad, Cal. Be safe. Those gliders perch in high places. Please. That data pad contains all my designs, not to mention my reference data bank. Without it, I'll be starting all over from scratch. I mean, even more than I already am. Well, that was nice of him. So, you're from Coruscant, huh? That's right. And you? Here. This swamp? No, <laughs> Kobo. <laughs> Fascinating! A local! You must tell me all about it. Tell me, and I mean no disrespect, but is it even possible to find a new data pad on a planet like this? Well, not new, but I bet I could find you one that works. <sighs> Very kind of you. That said, I'm afraid this one has sentimental value. Dangerous spot to catch a fish. Nay, dangerous fish to catch a... sport. Sure. Aye, that one swept the line. But sarcasm is weak, mate. Besides, I've gathered my focus for my quarry, the fearsome blossom crab. One of my old crew, a mate on the grapnel, once tried to pluck a crab from the sea foam, when suddenly, wham, overboard she went. that? A uh, flexible compass may not serve you on the roiling waves of Manan, but it does make the seas of the soul easier to brook, no? Stay a moment, and I'll regale you over the next chapter of my tale. Aye, our story nears its end. I discovered that Captain Whit was plundering my very home seas for exotic fish, and in the process, starving the old tars who raised me from a wee yoke. I spent many months in search of them. At long last, I discovered them on the salty shores of the third moon of Antine. A hide to Antine, and tricked me foe to the Caracas Trench. A fisher sliced clean through the moon's heart. There, amongst the brain and black, I found them. Wanyak Whit and his vile crew, surrounded by glumbering eels, spearing them with their harpoons. Captain, I cried. You've broken your promise never to harvest the seas of Sakavitar. And I said, your command be forfeit if you dare forswear my home waters. Oh, I'll scarce forget the snarl he issued as he turned to me, slow as a frozen reef, regarding me after years of thinking me dead. This, he growled, is why you didn't toss the fish back into the sea. Before I could shake my flippers, the barber of his harpoon spun through the deep, and its hook pierced me in the chest. My juices filled the water, and as my vision grew dark, I espied Wanyek, smiling sharp as a fang. That's horrible, Scuva. I told you, lad, the mind be a dark tale. I'll tell you more when next we meet. I 
can't move that, but there's no other way up to the pillar either. You ever been in a ship this big before, buddy? Been a long time for me. I'm not looking forward to it. It's Z's in there. We're not leaving without her. Ready to liberate one slightly eccentric High Republic droid? Yeah. You? Well, I'm here, aren't I? There is only the Force. Back on the move. Any trouble getting here? Nothing we couldn't handle. How about that swamp? Almost lost a boot. I've seen worse. He got stuck in a pretty nasty swamp on Dathomir. Heard Dathomir was haunted. Not my idea of a fun vacation spot. Don't let Marin hear you say that. Ready when you are, Cal. The Raiders won't know what hit him. Sounds like trouble. And we like trouble. I'll go high. Dead ass. We'll find our own way. He's 
smell that too, BD? Any ideas, Cal? Maybe I can help. No getting that out. Think you can break that coupling? Let's find out. When in doubt. Keep it together now. Stay battle ready. We'll handle whatever comes our way. to come after all. Yeah. He thinks Tantalor could really help the path. All right. But you do seem happier now that she's around. Okay, let's focus. Z needs us. This piece of junk could sink any second. Nah, she'll hold. Just wait to see what's inside. into a freighter on the nav once. Yeah? Any tips? No. It was nothing like a Lucre Hulk. Not sure why I even mentioned it. Could you clear this up? Absolutely. That is not how numbers work. <laughs> Damage within acceptable parameters. Market forces fire. Just fire. Roger, Roger. It happens more than you'd think. No wonder they lost. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I'll make sure the coast is clear. Miss me, BD? Look at this place. You ever take apart a Lucre Hulk in your scrapper days? One or two. A lot more Venators. A good friend of mine once found a family of snit mice keeping warm in a heat duct. Snit mice get everywhere. Prof didn't hesitate. He picked them right up and smuggled them back to his quarters. 
It was... It was just like that. I'm sorry, Cal. He sounds like a good friend. Why don't I hang on to that for you? Nice try. Good catch. Be careful. a beaten up warship just like the old days. or a whole planet with this. Stay alert. We have reports of hostiles in the area. We're under attack? Here? 
ready for battle. Keep this area locked down. Whatever Ravis is up to, it's drawn some unwanted attention. Any other day, stealing from those slow-minded prospectors would mean a thing. But now, they got some muscle. I can hear them buzzing around. Oh, that sounds bad. Ah, stay alert. Weapons hot. We're the Bedlam Raiders. Nobody invades our base and gets away with it. Ship knows we're here now, huh? Fix it, or I will have you scrapped for parts. Oh, that's bad. 